Hey guys, this product here and a lot of you wanted my opinion about the Honor 9X Pro. If I have to simplify it for you, I'll just say that don't buy the Honor 9X Pro, stay away from this phone as much as you can. So you can take my word for it and not buy this phone, but if you want to know why I wouldn't recommend the Honor 9X Pro, well then watch this video till the end. So the biggest issue with the Honor 9X Pro as you guys know is the fact that this phone will not get Google Play services right out of the box. So because of that, none of the Google apps that you can think of will work on this phone. Gmail, Google Play Store, Google Play Games, Google Maps, Google Pay, etc, etc. Any Google app will not work on the Honor 9X Pro out of the box. Instead of the Google Play Store, what they have here is Huawei's app market and they've said that they have 95% of the top 150 apps that are popular in India. But then the problem is I checked their app store and basic apps like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Prime, Prime Video, PUBG, WhatsApp, all of these apps were not available on their app store. So that's the problem because these apps are installed on every second phone. I mean, every user uses these apps and you have to literally sideload each and every app that I've mentioned here from the different websites. You might have seen a couple of unboxings of the Honor 9X Pro and in all of them you have been told that you have 95% of the top 150 apps but you haven't been informed about the availability of these basic apps which every user is going to use. And honestly this is actually very ridiculous. A lot of people will suggest you that well you can just sideload the app, well you can just download the APK of the app and install it on the phone. But let me give you some perspective. I have been making Google camera videos since the last two years on my channel. And the process is very simple. You just download an APK, install it. And even though the process is that easy, I still get so many questions about it. If you cannot expect people to install a basic Gcam APK, how the hell are you expecting them to find APKs of all of the apps they want and individually download them and install them on their phone? I know there is a phone clone app on the Honor 9X Pro as well, so it will bring all the old apps from your current phone to the Honor 9X Pro. But the question is, what will you do when the apps get updates? Because you don't have Google Play Store and if that app is not available on the app market, how will you update the app? So you have to actually download the APK every time the developer updates the app and then install it on your phone again. So it's just too much hassle which I don't think an average user who buys a 15,000 rupee phone is up for doing that. You can also install Google Play services somehow on the Honor 9X Pro devices so you will get Google Apps. But once again, it's a tricky process, it's a complicated process and I don't think an average user is going to be up for that. It's very weird that people complain when they have to go into the settings and disable ads on their Xiaomi or Realme phone. But when it comes to Honor, they are ready to sideload every app, they are ready to install Google Play services. They are like it's just an easy thing, you can just install Google Play services. So on one hand, you expect people to not go into settings and disable ads, whereas on the other hand, you expect people to sideload APKs, sideload Google Play services and so on. It's just double standards and honestly, I feel a user should not be doing so many things just to get basic things working on their phone. And also I did install the Huawei app gallery on a couple of Android devices that I had. And the problem is that some of these apps actually are not from the official developer, I think. If you see the Hotstar app, it's from a different developer and the version is also different from what you see on the Google Play Store. I noticed this disparity in a couple of other apps too. So I don't know what's going on. A clarification from the company would be great. A lot of you also had questions about banking apps. So fortunately, most of the banking apps are available on the Huawei's app gallery. You also get the B map, which is for UPI transactions. And you also get the Arogya Setu app, but you will not get Google Pay. But the truth is Honor honestly isn't even trying that hard to win the trust of their users. Because they are launching this phone in 2020, we are almost halfway done through 2020. And they are launching this phone with Android 9 Pie with a statement that we will be bringing Android 10 to this phone soon. Heck, even the phones that are launching for 8, 9, 10,000 rupees have Android 10 now and Huawei and Honor are launching a phone at 15, 16,000 rupees with Android 9 and with January security patch. So honestly, I don't think they're serious about selling this phone and it completely does not make any sense to buy the Honor 9X Pro. I mean, there is nothing exclusive about this phone. You might say Kirin 810 is there on this phone, but I'm guaranteeing you that 730G is going to give you better performance overall. And honestly, there is nothing exclusive about this phone that you should compromise on so many things compared to other devices in this price bracket. So I'm just gonna say one thing, stay away from the Honor 9X Pro as of now. Let Honor prove themselves first with giving you proper software updates. Let them prove themselves by bringing you the latest security patch on time. Let them prove themselves by bringing all of the major apps that you use on their app market and only then consider spending your money 
on this phone. As of now, you can literally just pick any other phone in this price bracket, be it Xiaomi, Realme, Poco, Samsung, just pick any other phone in this price bracket and it's gonna give you an overall better experience because here the compromises are way too much for the benefits that you're getting. So I hope that you guys understand my point of view and honestly, I would not recommend the Honor 9X Pro as of now. If you still for some reason consider buying this phone, then I don't know what to say. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think about the Honor 9X Pro. Don't fall into the trap of uh, sponsored videos and giveaways. I just thought I'd give you my honest opinion about the 9X Pro and I hope you guys appreciate that. As of now, that's all for this video. A lot of regular content like my reviews and comparisons are coming to the channel very soon. So stay tuned for that. If you like this video, then like it. If you dislike this video, then press the dislike button twice. And if you are new here, subscribe and press the bell icon. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and I will be back in the notifications very, very soon. Peace.